Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my live stream. Today is Monday, May 8th, and I'm so happy that I'm live streaming tonight. Um, if you want to challenge me to a game, then um, type in your username in the YouTube chat box and I'll be happy to challenge you to a game. Um, also, if you're a beginner chess player, then feel free to um, send me a chess game and I'll be happy um, to analyze it. If you want to, in order to do that, just go to my website, Chess by Lauren, go to my contact page, and then if you type, if you copy and paste the PGN um, right over here in the your message box, and if you push the send button, then I will get your email, and then I will analyze the chess game. Okay, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and play some chess games, and I hope you enjoy watching me play. So here we go. I am playing against um, a 1736. Um, this is Checkers Rules. So let's check that out. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh, okay. Hmm. Go ahead and castle. Okay, need to um, focus. Okay, let's move here. Okay. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna go and take it with my knight. And that's kind of interesting. Should I take it with the pawn? Or the queen? Um, I'm gonna take it with the queen. Okay, so that's what happens, and okay, I'm gonna go um here. Mm hmm Okay. And that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go here. And he wants to, um, take it, but I don't know if I want to. Okay, fine, I'll take it. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he goes there, and I'm gonna go here. Okay, that's... I'm gonna go ahead and um, double up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go here. So I think for right now I think I'm I think I'm doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move my rook over here. Let's see what's going on right now. Um yeah, let's go here. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I think for right now I think I'm doing okay. Um Hmm. 
Okay, um, let's move this bishop here. Okay, what is going on right now? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's what he's gonna do. Okay, gotta hurry up. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, wow, how interesting. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I'm gonna just try to fight three right now. Oh. see what he's trying to do. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, no. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Okay. go king to b2 uh-huh yeah this is crazy okay let's go here okay i think i'm doing okay um Yes, this this is looking good. Okay. Um huh. Um David says, Hi Nora, I just joined this live stream. Um hi David, how are you? How was your weekend? Um well I'm beta in a box is an amazing game, but I leave work in three minutes. We'll watch the replay. Okay, good to know. Um David, you're on. So um what I want to do, David, is I'm going to go ahead and challenge you to a game right now. And we do um, Chess 960. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. Someone sent me a message. Just hold on for a second. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's see what's going on. Um... um Okay, so, okay, let's go ahead then. Um, so, um, well, more than eight boxes. Great game. Thank you so much. Um, just to let you know, I do live stream three times a week. It's Monday night, um, Wednesday um, night, and Friday afternoons. But that's Pacific time, so that's in California. Okay, um, David, I'm going to challenge you to a game. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to um, play. And let's go to wait, hunt, new game. 
Custom. Okay, standard. It's going to be chest 960. Here's the, oh yeah, right here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's do it right now. Oops. Come on. It's, okay. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and do unrate it. A long time in Fox says, um, 960 is amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, it's fine. It's pretty different than regular chess, but it's fine. Okay, David, I just challenged you to a chess 960 game. So if you can accept my challenge, um, that would be great. Um, so driving home now, I can watch or listen at work. See you next time. Thank you. Come back next week. Or come back, um, yeah, come back next time. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Come on. Let's just get the, let's get the knights and the bishops out. I don't, like, okay, I guess I'll go here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oops, I don't know if that was good. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have to do something, right? Okay. Um, let me go here. Yep, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, I see what's going on right now. Okay, um, let me go ahead and go here. Let's see what happens. Oh, the... Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, do we really want to take it? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Sorry, I can't let you um take control of the C4 square. That's just not going to happen right now. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is crazy. Okay. Okay. Let's go here. Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such a close game. Wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of crazy. Um... What's gonna happen right now? Um, okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh, thanks for the night. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, okay. Um, good, good game, David. That was fun. Okay. That's, we could do a rematch. Um, that's fine. Okay. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So my queen's attacking the pawn. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And then he goes there. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I'm gonna go here. And I think right now I think that this is good. Right now, oh, I see what's going on right now. Yeah. Mm hmm I, 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 I see, I see what's going on, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Hmm. So this rook on E one that's pretty strong. He takes it, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 
Okay, like, what do I do now? I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go here. I don't know if you want to take it. Really? Um. Okay, fine. This is probably going to be a draw. Um. Okay, let's go here. But who knows? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay. Mm. Cool. Good game. That was fun. I thought this game was going to be a draw. I really was. Um, Greg Wallace says, hello, Lauren. I'm going to say, hi, how are you? Um... If I remember correctly, you're from Greenland, so how's Greenland? Is it hot? Is it getting warmer right now? Is the ice melting? That's what I would like to know. Um, okay, so you guys, welcome to my live stream. I'm so happy that you're here. Just to let you know, I am here every Monday night. And I'm also here on Wednesdays. Um, around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm also here on Fridays um, around 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to challenge me to a game, um, feel free to do that. All you have to do is type in your username. Um, this is on chess.com um, in the YouTube chat box, and I will be happy to challenge you to a game. Um, also, if you're just starting out in chess, you can also send me a chess game and I will be happy uh, to email, um, a, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, if, if, sorry, I got distracted. Um, if you send me a chess game, I'll be happy to analyze the game. Okay, I think I got an email. Um, okay, so this is from, oh yeah, Jeff McGinnis, of course. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and analyze um, this chess game. Hi, Jeff, how's it going? Um, yeah, cool. Hey, welcome to my live stream. So happy that you're here. Um, Jeff actually used to go to the same chess club as me a long, long time ago, so... 
um, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was fun. Okay, let me go ahead and, um, let me go to analysis, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oops, that's a link. Oops, okay, wait. Okay, so let's see what happened. Um, white wand. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, you understand why. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and analyze it. I'm gonna... Oh, was this a rated tournament game? U.S. Chess 15 slash 10 Rapid? But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and analyze it. Um, oh, and you're, and you're playing against a 2025. Okay, um, we could take a look. Um, knight f3, knight f6, pawn d4. Um, e6. So I think right now this is okay. Bishop goes to b4. Okay. Um, I guess that's okay. I mean, I, th what's the book line? This is Bishop to b4. I think we can also, can we also go, um, pawn to d5 too? I think that would also work too, but okay. Bishop to b4. Bishop goes there, so you take it. Knight goes there, okay. You castle. I personally for me, um I would probably move the pawn to d5 so it can have at least one pawn in the center. That's what I would do. Um but let's see, you did castle, pawn goes to e3. Okay, then you go pawn d5. Okay. I mean, right now it says that the position's pretty equal, but white has a slight advantage, but I still consider it to be equal. Rook goes there, okay. So you go there, okay. It makes sense. I mean, the, um, I mean, you have to support the d5 pawn. Um, um, Greg Wallace says it's cold here. It's still cold in Greenland. Wow. Okay. How how cold does it get in Greenland? That's my question. But I'm assuming um, that it's getting warmer because summer is coming. Well, that's what I think. But anyway, um, going back to um, Jeff's game, pawn takes, and then, okay, yeah, you definitely want to um, take it with the e pawn because if you take it with the e pawn, then you, like you have a very good bishop now. And of course, like you don't want, yeah, you definitely don't want to take it with the C pawn because now this rook has like, um, con this rook can control all of these squares. So it was good for you to, um, take it with the E pawn. That's what I would do too, because now your bishop is good. And then, um, let's see what happens. Bishop goes to D three, bishop to G four. Um, I mean, right now you're doing fine. I mean, the according to um, the computer, it says that the position's equal. I do like bishop to g4 because it pins the knight to the queen. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, he castles, and then you move knight um, um, b d7. Yep, I mean, you gotta get the knights and the bishops out, so I think this is good. Um, but what happens? Pawn goes h3. Okay, so it's attacking the bishop. So you move the bishop back. It makes sense because the bishop is still pinning um, the knight to the queen. Pawn goes there. Okay, so he's getting aggressive, but that's okay because you just move the bishop back to g6. Okay, let's see what happens. So he takes it and then you um, take it back with the f pawn. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, let me see what the computer says. Oh. Okay, so this is what I noticed. I noticed that I think the computer prefers for you to take it with the H pawn because if you take it, it's equal. But if you take it with the F pawn, notice that white is win um, slightly winning right now. And... I think the reason why is because, um, then like if the knight goes to g five, then the knight can go to e six, and then that will fork the knight and then the rook right now. 
But yeah, you have to, you gotta you gotta have to just be careful about the e6 square. That's what I would do. Um, but as long as you cover the the e6 square, I think um you should be fine. But the good thing about this move is it does open up lines for this rook. But again, be careful about um the e6 square because this pawn is not controlling the e6 square anymore. More. Um. So David um, Pacheco says White has a lead in development. Um, Black um, had to be careful that at one point where the dark square um, bishop retreated, he ended up helping his opponent develop his other knight in the opening. Okay, okay. So let's continue. And the knight goes there. And... Okay, well, what comes to mind right now is you can do a discovery attack, but the discovery attack doesn't work because I, I noticed that um, this queen, this knight, and then this knight, they're on the same diagonal. Um, so, I mean, it'd be nice if you could, like, move the... I was thinking, like, the knight can t the knight could take this pawn, but that doesn't quite work because um, once this queen takes the knight, then the queen is protecting the knight right now. So this discovery, it doesn't quite work. But okay. So the knight goes there. Okay. Okay, now he has to be careful because the knight goes here. You're attack attacking the knight. And the queen is also attacking the knight on h4. So this seems to be okay. And whoa. Um, the computer says that you're in a winning position, 2.9 points up. Okay, so you go there, and so Jeff, you're in a winning position. This is actually very exciting because one is your queen, the queen is attacking um, the pawn on h3, it's unprotected, and this pawn is attacking the knight. So you're in a really good position right now, Jeff, this is exciting. So, what is going on right now? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, he's trying to get tricky right now. The queen goes here, and then if you notice, this queen is pinning the pawn to the king. And because of that, this pawn um, cannot capture the knight. And also notice this queen is also attacking the pawn on b7. The pawn on b7 is not protected. So, um, this is actually kind of interesting. Um, Jeff says, it was exciting. Yeah, I mean, you're up four points, but let's see what happened. So, you ended up, um, taking the pawn. And the computer, I think the computer likes this move. Um... Because on the next move, you can also take this pawn. This is actually, yeah, this is exciting. Let's see what happens. So, queen. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. So, the queen um, takes the pawn. And now we got to figure things, like, what to do. So, I noticed, like, okay, if pawn takes knight, then the queen can take um, your knight. But I also noticed, like, okay, the queen. Um, so the other David says, hi, Lauren. I'm going to say, hi, how are you? Welcome to my live stream. Um, I'm Right now, I'm just analyzing a um, chess game. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, I mean, right now, it seems like you're doing all the right moves, Jeff. Um, queen takes pawn. And... It looks pretty good. I mean, you are checking the king. You're also protecting the knight. And then I'm assuming the knight goes there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, let's see what happens now. So you go there. And... Um, okay, so the rook is attacking the queen. And then, again... Um, Jeff says, I spent the most time in this position. Oh, okay. Let me see something. Okay, according to the computer, the best move is to move the pawn um, to h5. 
um, according to the computer. So the, I think the main idea is if you go pawn to h5, then you can, on the next move, you can move the pawn to h4, and then that pins um, the, um, the, the pawn is attacking the knight. Because right now the queen is attacking the knight um, to the king. So um, the pawn pushed to h5 and then h4, that makes sense. But I want to see what actually happened. So you went there. Um, that's not the computer's best move, but it's still, but the computer says they're still in a winning position. So that's good. Um, um, so Jeff says h5, didn't see that. Yeah, because I mean, um, I mean, I guess, I, I guess like, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just think that pawn h5, I just think, yeah, that's very forcing right now. And, um, I mean, he has to do something about, um, h4. Um, but let's see what happens. Okay, so Rick goes there. The computer says that you're still in a winning position, so the queen takes. And, okay, yeah, this is, this is still interesting, um, because... The queen still can't safely take the knight on d7, um, but the queen is threatening to take the pawn. Let's see what happens. So you go there, and this makes sense. I mean, um, this this makes sense because I mean, you are um, you are you are I'm protecting the pawn on d5, and you're still winning. You're still winning right now. King goes there, and okay, so you're still attacking. Okay, what happens now? Okay, so there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, the computer says you're still winning. Okay, th let's see what's going on. The pawn is attacking the queen, and you're attacking the queen too. What happens after this? You go there right now? Oh no. The computer does not like queen to g4. So what is the best move right now? Oh. Okay, so according to the computer, the best move is um Rook takes pawn on f3, and this move, the, see, um, Rook takes pawn, okay. Um, let's just talk about this move right now. Um, so I guess the idea is... With this move, notice that the queen, uh, um, the your queen on g4, it's not being attacked right now, and it doesn't make sense for um his queen to take your rook right now because you've got the knight and queen protecting the rook right now. But the other beautiful move about this is now you're threatening to capture the knight, and it should be like checkmate very soon. What is white going to do? I mean, of course, like if rook takes then you can just go ahead and just um take the queen, right? And then Rick goes here, and then um you are in a good position right now. I mean, I know, like, you're in, um, you don't have the two rooks, but, I mean, at least you have a knight, and and then now you can still, you can still move the pawn um to h5, because, again, you are threatening to go pawn to h4. But let's see what happened. Um... But okay, wait, wait, after rook f3, and again, if he doesn't take the rook, and then let's say, I don't know, maybe he will go here instead. Um, if that's the case, then, um, what happens now? Okay. According to the computer, the wood can just take this pawn, but I don't want to get um sidetracked too much. I just want to actually see what actually happened in the game right now. Um, so after this move, you did go queen to g5, 
and the computer doesn't like this right now um I mean, before you move the queen to g5 right now, it's you're up um, three points right now. But once you move the queen, now it's pretty much equal right now. So, oh, you lost the winning. Um, yeah, you had winning chances. But let's see what happened. Um, queen goes there. Okay, so you're checking. Um, oh, sorry. He's, he's checking the king. And then the king goes there. Rook takes, rook takes, okay, that makes sense, and i going to be careful about this back rank right now. Rook goes there, okay. I mean, obviously, you can't just take this rook, because if the rook takes, then queen goes to e8, and then that's checkmate. So, um, you know, you guys have to remember, if you're just starting out in chess, you always want to ask, like, if I move here... Where is my opponent going to deal? Um, that's very important. You've got to think ahead. Um, so let's see what Jeff did. You move the queen back. Okay. And let's see what happens. Rook takes. Queen takes. Okay, so you offer a um, queen trade. And what is going on right now? You've got one, two, three, four, five pawns. And then your opponent has one, two three, four, five. So right now, um, technically, um, it is equal. The computer says that white um, it has a slightly better position, but pretty much um, it is equal. So let's see what happens. Pawn goes here. It's attacking this pawn. So you do decide to go here. So I guess the idea is if pawn takes, then the knight can just take it back. Um, so the pawn goes there. Okay, that makes sense, but we, we definitely need to move this king. Yeah, move the king closer. And so this is actually very interesting because I noticed that, um, Jeff, you also have a pass pawn um, on the H file. So that's good. But I want to see what happened. King goes to F2. You move here. King goes there. You go there. Oh, oh, wait, no. Um. Okay. You move pawn to h5, but the computer does not like that move. The, according to the computer, the best move is pawn to g5, and that makes the positions to still be equal. Um. I think we still have to be careful about this move because um, the knight can still go to f5, but I guess um, maybe on the very next move, maybe you can move pawn to g6 because I don't, I don't want this knight to um, get into your position. Um, but on the other hand, if you move pawn g5, it is stopping this king from going to f4. But let's see what actually happened. You went um, pawn h5, but it makes sense because I mean you, I mean you do have a pass pawn. The knight goes there. Okay, it's still equal. Pawn goes there. Okay, so you're still you're just trying to advance. And the knight goes here. Okay, so right now, um, the position it's still equal, but now you have a slightly um winning um advantage right now. So you're up um, 0.7 points. So that's good. I think he's trying to figure out what to do. King goes here. Okay, it's, it's, I mean, right now it's pretty much equal. Let's see what happens. Okay, knight goes there. He's, the knight's threatening to take the pawn on g5. So you move back. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. And then, uh, okay, let's see what's going on. Pawn goes to a4. And this move makes sense um, because um, this knight right now is protecting the pawn on d5. I think he wants to attack the knight. So I think I think the idea is pawn goes to a5, and once the knight moves, then he can capture the pawn. But then, if the pawn captures on d5, then this um, these pawns are um, they're um, double isolated pawns. But let's see what happened. Okay, so you did go there. That makes sense to me. Because if you go pawn a5, then this pawn cannot move. 
um, and attack the knight. That makes sense. Let's see what happens. Knight goes to g1. You go there. Okay. Um, right now, the position is equal, um, which is good. Okay, so he, now he decides to um, move the pawn forward to e5. Okay, so it's checking the king. And then you go there. Okay, that makes sense because if you go here, you are controlling um, these squares. So that's good. He cannot safely um, take the pawn. Um, he can't safely move the pawn to f4. Um, this pawn on e a5 is not going anywhere because of this king. That makes sense. And then now, um, you're up 1.9 points. Um, the computer did not like knight to e2. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, this is kind of interesting. I mean, you do have this pass pawn. Hmm, the comp what's going on right now? This is not really easy to see. Um, okay. Well, according to the computer, the best move is knight to c8. Where is this knight going right now? I don't know. Maybe, maybe to e7, maybe. But anyway, okay. You did go pawn h4. Four, and then that stops the knight from going to g3. And let's see. Okay, so the knight goes to g1. And clearly you cannot safely move the pawn to h3 because of this knight. And let's see what happens now. Okay, so you move the knight over to d7. And the question is... What is your plan right now? Um, that's my question right now. But let's see, let's see what happened. Knight goes to e two. Knight goes here. Um, so Jeff says I think the computer wants the knight to go to um c six. Okay, right. Is that to attack these two pawns? Oh, knight c eight. Um, e7, and then c6. Okay. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, because if the knight, if the knight um, is on c6, then they'll be attacking this pawn and also um, this pawn, too. Um, but let's see, let's see, just, let's see what happened. Okay, he's getting, um, fancy right now. He's trying to get a, um... So Jeff says, was thinking about taking the D and the E pawns for the knight. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I think we gotta be careful right now. Let's see. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so he did move the pawn to B4. Clearly, he wants you to take it, which you do. And then... um. I think this is interesting right now because, I mean, if you think about it, like, he has a pass pawn on e5. He, um, he also has a pass pawn on a4 too. But also notice that you've got pass pawns too. So you've got a pass pawn on um, the b file and also um, a pass pawn on h4 too. So, I mean, I think... I think when he moved here, I think that's... I think that's risky. Right now, the computer says that you're in a winning position. Um, but let's see what happened. Pawn goes here. Okay, clearly he is trying to get a queen right now. So you had to move the knight, but right now, like, okay. The computer does not like knight to d7 right now. Okay, what does the computer want? Knight to e6. Oh. Okay. So I guess the idea is knight goes to e6. If this pawn goes here, then the knight goes here. And then I guess it's attacking the pawn and it's also controlling the queen square too. Um, yeah, this is kind of interesting right now, but you also have like um, this past pawn too. Um, but let's go back to what actually happened. Um, 
Okay, so the computer doesn't like knight to d7, but to me it makes sense because you don't want this pawn um to um become a queen. And then mm, knight goes to c1. It makes sense because this knight's stopping um this pawn from moving forward to b3. So you go with the R. Okay. Um yeah, this is getting crazy right now. Um, oh my gosh, like, okay, what happens? So the king goes here, so he's trying, okay, so, um, so, um, well, Bonten and Box says, Thorne, you need to stream on Twitch. People will subscribe to you to get games revealed, build followers, and become a Twitch um, partner and you will be successful at streaming okay um no thank you so much for um that advice um i'm just trying to figure out um what to do um i do want to stream um on twitch um but i also need to think about my time and my schedule um because i did research and it turns out that i cannot stream um, I cannot stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time because that violates the terms of service, um, on Twitch. Um, so it's like, okay, given that, maybe I should live stream on, um, Twitch maybe one time a week and then two times a week on chess.com. I'm still trying to figure things out. Um, I do like that idea. Um, but yeah, I have to talk to my business consult. Um, I have to talk to my business consultant about that. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. But um, yeah, I I'm very committed um to live streaming. Um, <laughs> but I also have to. I mean, I I think the the key is. Um, to be successful, I have to be consistent and I also have to create high quality um, content. Um, so I have that. I'm very serious about my content. Um, so, um, so you said you can stream on both, but you can't stream at the same time. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's what I did because like that's, um, that's week I was thinking, oh, maybe I can stream at the same, like, both at the same time, but then, yeah, I did, I did, um, read, um, the terms of service on Twitch, and they're like, no, you can't stream, um, on both platforms at the same time, so I think right now, um, ah, so, we're bought in a box, so stream on YouTube, stream on Twitch, post on Twitch, um, post, um, post strip on um, Twitch, Sorry, post stretch streams on YouTube and etc. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's good to know. Um. Um. No, thank you. Thank you so much for that idea. I really appreciate it, and it means that I have to make some more changes um in my schedule. But you know, I just think. Like right now, I have to just treat it as a experiment and see what works for you. But you know, I have to. I want to be successful. Um, um. So yeah, I think that I think that I think that's a very interesting idea. So <laughs> okay, so it means that that way you don't choose. You build both. Ah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I can get that to work, but I have to. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I need to take a look at my schedule because my schedule right now as a chess teacher, it's like I am very busy, and I really need to um really. I mean, I can't, I mean, the most important thing is, like, it's important to, um, I think it's really important to just go after my dreams, but I also believe, um, in a well-balanced life, too, 
Um, but we're bought in the boxes experiment, but I follow um, all the chest stretches and you are just as good as better. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I need to experiment because again, um, I am a chess teacher and that means that I do teach chess six days a week and um, I've been teaching chess um, to kids and adults um, for the last 10 years and you know I also believe in a well-balanced life um, so I can't I mean the thing is like like teaching and like my professional life that's also very very important for me but I also need to also pay attention to my personal life too um, so I need to, um, yeah, I gotta just take a look at my schedule and just, and see, um, how I can build a Twitch, um, channel. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that Twitch, I think it has really good potential, but I also think that YouTube also, um, has good potential too. So, um, no, um, so, um, with Bond in the Box, I really appreciate that and, um, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, in the meantime... Um, just to let you guys know, I do invite you guys to um, join my club on chess.com. Um, my club's name is Chess by Lauren. And just to let you know, once a month, I do organize a... I, I also host an online chess tournament. So the next one is going to be on Saturday, May 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes, yeah, only 20 hours in a day. Yeah, it's like time is also very precious too. Um... So it's just like, yes, I value my time. I don't like to waste time. I'm just trying to make the most out of my time right now, but I, I need to be effective too. Um, so <laughs> um, just to let you guys know, I do invite you guys to play in my online chess tournament. First place winner gets a $20 Amazon gift card. Um, which is exciting. You have to, your rating has to be under 1800. Um, so well bought in the boxes, I am friends with you, but not in the club, so just let me join right away. Okay, sounds good. No, 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 Jeff, I'm not finished with you. No, 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 I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Okay, so we're going back to, um, Jeff's game right now. Um, let's see what happened. Okay, so what happened is you did move the pawn to h3, Jeff, and then... Um, king goes to f2, pawn goes to g4, pawn takes, and then I think that this was the key mistake right now, because one is white has, um, white still has two pass pawns, and I don't think this knight can stop, um, th this knight cannot stop these two pawns at the same time right now. Um, pawn goes there. How are we going to stop this pawn? I don't... Okay, yeah, I mean... Okay, the knight goes there, and this... The knight is controlling the e, um the e8 square, but how are you going to stop this pawn right now? Oh, well, the king goes um to g1. Uh, you know, I'm really concerned about this pawn on a6 right now. And then let's see what happens. Knight goes here... And then we can't, we can't do anything. Okay, wait. Um, knight goes to the R. Okay, the knight's controlling the A8 square. Pawn goes to E7. And then, um, you did resign. Okay. I thought that this was a very interesting game. And I just thought that the key mistake, I think it was probably pawn to G4 right now. Um, <laughs> um, we bought it on in the boxes. I just joined the club and, and sorry, Jeff. I just wanted her to do this on Twitch and do a following. Um, yeah, um, good to know. I'm glad that you joined the club. Um, but yes, I'm always like, I, I want to just give you guys, um, well, I'll tell you guys, I am self employed. So I'm always looking for new ways to expand my business. Um, and it's kind of interesting because I, I was actually doing research and it turns out like the other top streamers, they're both on YouTube and Twitch too. So if they can do that, then I can too, right? Um, but yeah, I think that this was a key mistake because right now this king, it's stopping 
um, this pawn from moving forward. So moving the pawn to g4, um, that's a huge mistake because once um, your king takes the pawn on g4, well, guess what? This pawn now can safely move forward. So um, I think maybe, maybe go back. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, what do we do? The knight should go to b8. Okay, according to the computer. I mean, this is not this is not easy. I mean, the the end game is pretty complicated right now, and um, I mean, this is still really difficult because oh, I guess the idea is what move the knight over to a6. Um. I, yeah, I mean, this is, this is really complicated, but the computer says knight to b8, and then after knight to b8, king goes to f2, after that, knight goes to a6. Okay, I guess, um, with this move, it blockades this pawn, but, I mean, you can't, you can't safely move the pawn to, um, b3, but let's see what happens. King goes to g2, how... I mean, can we win in this position? I'm not really too sure. Um, um, so view equals viewer connections. Okay. Um, uh, no, I thank you. I really appreciate that um advice. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see what happens. King. So knight goes to uh c seven. Knight goes to c seven, and then after that. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at the line um, that the computer um, is giving me right now. King to h3, but can we win? Um, knight. Oh wait, it says king f4. Okay, knight to d3, and then after that, oh now it's saying now you can safely take the pawn. Um, I think this is really difficult um to see, but um. Yeah, I just, yeah, so again, um, Jeff McGinnis, I think that the, I think that the, the main mistake it, that cost you the game, it was when you moved the, when you, when you took this pawn on g4, because after you took the pawn on g4, um, this knight, um, it's too much for this knight to handle these two pawns right now. And then, okay, so if we go back to the beginning, um, I thought that you played very well. So I think the, the main idea is instead of moving the rook over to b8, just remember, move the pawn to h5. The idea is to move the pawn to h4 um, to attack the knight because this queen right now it is um, pinning the knight to um, the king right now. But I thought it was a great game. I mean, I thought it was very exciting um, that you were winning. Um, um, but, you know, I think the, the most important thing is um, if you do lose... I mean, it is, it is disappointing, but just treat each... Um, um, that was as a learning experience. Um, that's actually very, really, very really important. Um, so, um, so Jeff, thank you so much for sharing this game with me. I really enjoyed um, analyzing this chess game, and I hope you found the analysis um, to be helpful. Um, so, um, if you want me to analyze your chess game um, for free, all you have to do is just go to my website which is Chess by Lauren. Um, this is my website and just go to my contact page and then um, all you do is copy the um, the game PGN or the game link over here, paste it in the blue box, send uh, and then push the blue send button and then I will get um, your email, okay? The other thing is if you want me, if you want to play a chess game with me, then all you gotta do is just type in your username um, in the YouTube chat box and I will be happy to um, challenge you to an unrated um, bits game. 
Okay, so what I want to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and just do the daily puzzle. I think that will be fun. Okay, here's the daily puzzle. Did you guys do the daily puzzle yet? Um, I bought it in the box. It says, awesome. Okay, great. Okay, so this is the daily puzzle. It says the king is a, the king is a terrible juggler. And what is going on? It is right to move. And, okay, what is going on right now? Okay, the first thing that comes to mind is this bishop. It is attacking this rick right now. So, okay, that's so interesting. And um, the puzzle today is awesome. Oh, okay, good to know. And I think I do see it. Maybe. Okay, so here's some other things I th um I, I I noticed. I noticed that um this king is on c8, so this king is on a white square. I also noticed that this bishop can go to f5 and check. I also I also noticed that this bishop can also go to a6 and check the king. I've also noticed that this rook, this bishop, and this queen they're all on the same line. Now. I believe that the answer is bishop goes to a6. Um, you also need to, it's also really, like, really important to think ahead. So if we move the bishop to a6, that checks the king. And I also notice that the king cannot go to d7 because the queen um, is controlling d7. So that means... Um, if I go bishop to a6, that means that the only move is king to b8. And then after that, my queen can um, take the rook on d8, and that should be checkmate. So I'm very, very confident that this is the right... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I made a mistake because there's this bishop here. Oops. But given that... Okay, just given the fact. Bishop goes to a6. If the bishop um goes back to b7 i'm thinking that my bishop takes the bishop king takes then um the queen can take the rug so that's what i think i think that's the answer so let's go ahead and take a look yep that's correct okay so as predicted the bishop goes to b7 and that stops the um check bishop takes yep very good and then now my queen um takes the rug and that's it. Yay! Okay, that was fantastic. I love doing the daily puzzles. I hope you guys um, do too. Um, so, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and just play some um, chess games. This is two minute with a one second increment, so this is bullet. And I like to play bullet. It's fast. I tend to lose on time, but that's okay. At least I'm having fun. So, yes. Yay! Okay. 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 Wow, I'm playing against a 1491. Okay, wait. Gonna move. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Move my pawn up. It's important to control the center. I'm gonna just yeah, get the knights and bishops out. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait, I gotta uh, pay attention. Okay, wait. Concentrate, I have to focus. Okay, let's, let's cast all. Um, yep, okay. Um, I gotta hurry up. Okay, fine, let's go here. Okay, that's fine. And let's go here. Go, 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 go. Okay, um... Move quickly. Okay, fine. He can take um, my bishop if he wants to. Yep, he takes it. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. He goes there. Um, maybe I can move my... Um, hurry up. Okay. Okay, fine. He goes there. Um, I'm gonna go here. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and just like double up right now. Yeah, let's double up. That looks good. Okay, and um, 
What does that mean? Um, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, I'll go here. Come on. I'm here to win. Okay. He wants to take it. Okay. Oh, he goes there. Okay. Well, I have to do something. Oh, he goes there. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go back. Um... He goes there. I'm trying to... Okay, let's go here, I guess. How, how am I going to break in right now? Um... I need to hurry up right now, please. Okay. Okay. Let's go here, I guess. Okay. Fine. Um... Okay, he goes there, and, okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, he goes there, um, I'm gonna go here. I need to concentrate, okay, let's go here. This is still not easy. He wants a queen trade. Shall I give it to him? Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, fine. Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I want a pawn. That's a good thing. Okay, I gotta hurry up right now. Go, 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 go. This is still... I don't have much time. Oh my gosh, okay. Go, 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 go. Okay, um, here. Hurry up, go, 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 go. Okay. Let's break in. He goes there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Okay. Oh, wait! Okay, good. Um. <gasps> go, 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 go. Okay, let's go here. This is great. I'm taking this bishop right now. Okay. Uh-huh, okay. And I think for right now, I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um, do something. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm in I'm in a good position right now. Okay, here we go. Take this pawn. And I'm happy. Yay! Okay, fantastic. That was a great game. Um so well with Bonten in the boxes, I will play and lose to you and pull it if you want. I am not um and I am on your friends the list. Just search for friends for Wombat. Okay. Um, I will do that. Um, so that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and challenge you. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, cute. It's a wombat. Very, very cute. Um, yeah, that was fun. Okay. Um, let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and challenge you. And...
we're gonna do unrated. Um, we could also play a Blitz game, but if you want to play Bullet, that's fine. Okay, here we go. What could we do? Um, Bullet. Okay, so um, Wombat in the box. I just challenged you to a game. So if you want to accept, um, then that would be great. Okay, here we go. Move quickly. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Okay, here we go. Ah! Thanks for the night. Yep. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, um, oh, I just captured your queen. Okay, my turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I could have taken that. Okay, look. You can take my rook if you want. Not really. Yeah, okay. <gasps> okay, um, good game. Good game. I know, like, this is bullet. And you don't have um you don't have that much time to think, but I'm gonna give you some tips on what to do. It's okay. Um, we're just here just to have fun, right? Just play your best and have fun. That's also like that's it's okay. Um, but I did create this channel to help beginner um chess players get better. So I'm actually gonna give you some tips right now. Um, this is called um acumen. Um, I can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but it's um, Aguiline's defense. It's e okay. It goes um e four and a knight. <laughs> yeah, um, e four and a knight to f six. I think a since I mean as a beginner, my recommendation is for you to move the pawn to e five. Because if you do that, then um, notice that you get a pawn in the center and it opens up lines for the bishop and then the queen. And then the other thing is my pawn on e4, it cannot move forward. So my recommendation is instead of moving the knight to f6, um, move the pawn to e5. That's my recommendation. But, but I'm just saying it's like knight to f6, it's still okay. I think after I moved the pawn to e5, I think you moved a little bit too quickly because you didn't move pawn to g6. Um, in this position, what you want to do with this opening is you want to move the knight over to d5 um, because if you go... Right, okay. So if you move the knight over to d5, then it's safe. And then usually what happens is the um, white pawn is going to go to um, d4 um, to get another pawn in the center and also notice that it opens up lines for this bishop. So that's good um, Usually what people do is they're gonna go ahead and move the pawn to d6 to attack and then after that the white usually moves the pawn to c4 and then that um, Attacks the knight and usually the knight will go to b6. So that's usually how um, you play um, this opening um, so just remember that for next time. And then the other thing is, um, I mean, you're down a piece right now. The other thing is, um, yeah, you want to get all the knights and the bishops out. I think that moving the pawn to g5, I think that this is too aggressive right now. Um, my recommendation is to maybe move the knight over to b6 so this bishop can get out. 
Um, so please consider that for next time. Um, the other thing you gotta remember is, um, oh yeah, this pawn needs to stay here. Because notice that these pawns, they need to keep the king safe. The other thing um, is, keep in mind that this queen, this bishop, and rook, they're all on the same line. And um, because of that, it's not good for the queen to be on the same line as the bishop and the rook. So in this position, what would I probably do? Um, maybe we need to move the queen back. Um, maybe. But let's go back to what actually happened. I went here. And um, the reason why I moved bishop to... Um, <laughs> so, um, with bond in, in a box says it works in the 700 bracket sometimes, but not against an 1800. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just, I mean, I, I'm, I'm giving you tips. So I hope, um, I hope that this, I hope the tips that I'm giving you, I hope that this is going to help you, um, in the future. Um, but, um, I moved the bishop to d3, um, because it is controlling the h7 square and notice that um um the h7 square it's right next to this king um so in this position i know this is i mean you don't have that much time but if you play with a slow a much slower time control like maybe game in 10 minutes or longer you need to ask questions um such as like um what am i attacking what is my opponent attacking you need to ask, like, if I move here, is it safe? You have to consider all captures and checks. Um, that's also very, very important. If you um, are able to do that, like, with a slower time control, then you would have noticed that my rook um, is attacking the screen, and you need to move it. So in this position, um, just think about it. It's not safe to go queen to d6 because of this bishop. It is not safe to go to um, these squares. Um, so the only safe place for the queen right now is to go queen to d8, and then, um, that would be nice. Okay, um, anyway, what happens is I did take it, and then, um, since you're down a queen, it's just very difficult to, <laughs> yeah, so it's just checks, captures, and attacks. Um, and then if you want to get better, stay with a time control of um game in 10 minutes or longer some people want to play um five minutes but that's too short because um um as i told you before i've taught i've been teaching chess to kids and adults for the last 10 years so a lot of my students are below um 1000 um so i know how um i know how you guys play and the most important thing is you need to avoid making silly mistakes. So it's like, of course, like if you move the, if you move like, um, if you move one of your pieces to an unsafe square and then that your piece just gets captured, like that's that's un, like that's that's a silly mistake. Um, so with button in the boxes, I take ten or thirty minutes. Okay, that's great. Yeah, um, blitz and bullets just for fun. Okay, um, that's good to know. Um. I think if you're below, if you're ready to be the 1000, it's also like important to, um, also study tactics. So like just get, f like just get familiar with the, um, basic tactics, like the fork, skewer, pen, um, discovery, um, that's also, um, very, very important. But again, you like, but before every move, you need to treat each move as a puzzle. And again, it's just, um, consider all checks, captures, and attacks, threats. That's very, very important because, um, the point, the idea is if you continue to make silly mistakes, um, you're going to have a very difficult time getting over 1000. And, you know, I tell this to my students. Um, so, um, one of my students actually, um, hit, recently hit 1000. So that, that was actually very exciting. Um. Um, yeah, so those are just tips. I hope you found, um, I hope you found my tips to be, um, helpful. Um, so that's great. Anyway, what happened is you did move this, um, so, um, Rabana in a box says, I got a book today. Um, Bobby Fisher teaches chess 
do you know it? Is it good? Um, I will use it tomorrow. Um, yes, I've seen um that book before. Bobby Fisher teaches chess. I think that's also um a really good book. Um, also notice if you guys do not, if you guys are not aware, um, I've also written um two chess books, um uh, myself, and I just want to talk about um the two chess books that I wrote actually. I have them right over here. Um, so I written um two chess books. These books are for beginners. So the first book um that I wrote is called Fifty Poison Pieces, and um I did create all the puzzles um in this book. Um, what it is is you have to figure out why taking an unprotected piece is a huge mistake. That's why it's called a poison piece. So um, you will learn more about um, tactics like checkmate, skewer and pin, um, fork. So this is a great book if you're rated under 800. Um, <laughs> very helpful. This is why you will be the best on Twitch. Thank you very much. The other awesome thing is if you do decide to buy one of my books, you can actually buy a book directly from me and I will autograph the book and send it to you. So, um, yeah, so this is a really cool book. Um, this book is actually endorsed by um, some chess masters, which is great. And then um, I'll tell you guys about my other book that I wrote. This is called Queen for the Day. And why did I write this book? The reason why I wrote this book is to inspire more women and girls to play chess because chess is a male dominated game. Um, I'm happy to be um, a woman um, chess player and a woman chess coach and I want to do my part to inspire more women and girls to play chess. This book is a fantastic book. Um, you get to play an entire chess game with Sophia. And this is a picture of Sophia. Um, and the cool thing about this book is this book um, was actually endorsed by um, some grandmasters, so, um, which is actually very, very exciting. Um, so if we go over here, um, Carrie Fan, the CEO of Chess Kid, um, endorsed this book, and some other, um, awesome people also, yeah, some other, um, some other, like, awesome um, chess people have endorsed the book too. So, um, if you want to learn, if you want to learn about chess strategy, um, I do encourage you guys to buy this book. If you buy this book from me directly, um, then, um, I will autograph the book for you. Okay. So I'll just tell you more about this book. If you, okay. So basically you play an entire chess game with Sophia. I give the reader three choices for moves. So, um, David says, maybe I'll buy um, that book for my niece. Okay, yeah. If you do that, if you buy, if you choose to buy the book um, um, from me, I will autograph the book for y'all. And I'll just, I'll just send it to y'all. Um, but, um, but if you are a boy or a man or whatever you are, um, anyone can benefit from reading this book. Um, so anyway, I give the reader three choices for moves. So one move is a bad move. The second move is an okay move move and then the third move is the best move and when you turn the page then um i explain if the move is good or bad um so i think that this is a great this is a great book um jennifer shahade um she also endorsed the book um so if you guys don't know um who jennifer shahade is um i i definitely um, let's check her out right now. Um, this is Jennifer Shahade. Um, she's a woman, I think she's a woman's grandmaster. Um, so yeah, she endorsed my book, which is exciting. Uh, so we bought it in the boxes. I will buy both books after I finish my Bobby Fisher book too. Okay, that's awesome. Um... Sounds great. Um, yeah, so you guys, I'm just here just to help you guys out. <laughs> yeah, I just want to um, 
Yeah, I just want to make a positive impact um, in the chess community. So, um, so David says, where do you buy the book to get it autographed? Well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, let me know um, you want to buy the book. You're going to directly buy the book from me. So what's going to happen is um, you have to email me. So just go to my, yeah, just go to, you just send me an email. Go to my website, Chess by Lauren. Go to contact page. Go here. Um, just email me and say like, hey, um, I'm interested in buying a book from you. Um, and then what's going to happen is um, you have to PayPal me um, um, the, um, the money or you can also Vimo me too. Um, so what's going to happen is um, I autograph the book and then I, you have to send me your address because I have to go to the post office and I have to ship it. Um, but that's how you're going. That's how you get an autograph book. So you just buy the book directly from me. So it's super easy. I have Vimo. I also have PayPal. Um, so the thing you have to do is you have to just um, buy the book and also um, shipping and handling. Um, so that's that's all it is. Um, and I ship. I'm I'm from the San Francisco um, Bay Area. So if you if you if you're in the United States, then I don't. I think shipping. I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, in case you are interested in um, buying a book. So, um, yeah. So I think that's great. Um, let me see. Let's see what's going on. Um, okay, cool. I got I got an email. Um, okay, cool, David. Um, I got your email. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um after this live stream, I am gonna go ahead and um email you back. Um, and then um yeah, and then um we'll go from there. Okay, so, um, okay, so what I want to do right now is, um, so we're bought in a, one bot, oh, it's one, one bot in a box. The media rate should be cheap, U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely, um, yeah, definitely, um, so, yeah, yeah, definitely, um, yeah. So it should be fun. The other thing that I offer um, beginners is I also created um, 500 chess puzzles for the beginner too. Um, so I just I just believe that it's important to it's important. I really believe in using my imagination. Um, so I can show you guys the puzzles that I created. Um, these are unique and original interactive two-choice puzzles for the novice. Um, these are high-quality puzzles. So um, James Ede, the author of the Chess for Dummies book, he also endorsed the book. So let me just tell you more about this. We're going to go to um, the puzzle page. Um, so there's like different categories. So there's unprotected piece, um, skewer and pin, checkmate, stalemate, fork, and then also random. Um, and we can do some puzzles. And again, I created every single puzzle. Um, so, um, you cannot get these puzzles anywhere else. But let me just show you. This is unprotected piece. And with this puzzle, um, I asked, um, which piece you should capture. So like, for example, this rook is attacking this pawn and it's also attacking this pawn. Which pawn should you capture? And again, to answer the question, you have to ask questions to get information. Okay, so think about what you can capture. Think about what your opponent can capture. Okay, the right answer is for this rook to take this pawn on a4 because this rook on a4, it's still protecting the bishop on g4, okay? Now, taking this pawn is a big mistake because this queen can safely take the bishop on g4. So if you're just starting out in chess, I highly recommend you checking out my puzzle. So that was unprotected piece. Um, 
I also have um, skewer and pen. And this is a good puzzle. Um, this is a puzzle that I created. This queen is attacking this pawn and also this pawn too. Which pawn um, should you capture? And again, to answer this question, you need to ask if I move here, um, if I move here, um, where is my opponent going to do? Also, pay attention to what pieces are on the same line, okay? If you notice right now, this pawn on h7 and this king on h3, they're all on the same line. So the, um, the best move is for this queen to, um, is for this queen to take this pawn. And it's safe because if the queen takes this pawn, um, then this rook can um, go here. And then this is a skewer because once this king gets on the check, then this rook can just take the queen on h7. Um, so, yep, exactly. Um, David Pacheco says, I just sent an in-person um, tournament game from Thursday of last week. It only lasted for seven moves where I destroyed an unrated opponent. Wow. Okay, you just sent you just sent the um the game to me. Oh, haha. Ha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We can we can uh, uh, we can do another one. So this one we can do um checkmate. No, 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 no. So I, <laughs> it takes practice. You guys have to remember like um. I used to be a beginner too. I remember when I first started playing chess, um, my rating, it was below 1000, okay? And I remember that I was playing a, I was playing a tournament and I was playing against this kid and I was in a completely winning position because I was up a rook and a king and my opponent just had a king. Well, guess what? Um, Back then, I didn't even know how to checkmate with a rook and a king, and so because of that, the game was a draw. So, you know, I think it's like if you want to get better in chess, you have to, um, you have to practice, you have to study, um, and you gotta, you gotta just focus. But you know, remember, the most important thing is play your best, but also have fun too. And if you lose, you have to treat it as a learning experience. Okay. Um, we'll go in, we can check out some, um, we're going to check out a checkmate puzzle. And, um, here, we do this one. Actually, no, uh, we do, um, this one. Okay, in this position, um, this knight, it's attacking this knight and also this bishop too. And, um, which piece should this knight capture? Should it capture the knight or the bishop? Now, again... Um, to answer this, um, to answer, to solve the puzzle, you have to, um, you also, ha you have to ask questions. Think about what you can capture. Think about what your opponent can capture. Okay, because if you can do that, that's going to help you. Um, so if we notice right now, um, so Wombat in the box says, yes, um, I will be playing um, my, my first in-person chess tournament this year. Just got my board in pieces and clock today. Wow, that's exciting. Um, after you play in your tournament, please let me know how it went. Um, and again, if you send me the chess games that you played, um, I'll be happy to analyze um, your chess games for y'all for free. Yeah, yeah, but um, have fun. It should be exciting. It should be exciting. Um, just remember, you're just there. Play your best. If you lose, you lose. But if you win, then you win. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Um, since you're going to be playing in your first chess tournament, my recommendation is to notate. Um, I'm not too sure if you know how to notate in chess. Um, but I do encourage you um, to check that out. So it's like how to notate in chess. Um, yes, so um, Wampa in a box, um, before you play in the chess tournament, make sure that you know how to um, notate in chess. So I think the easiest way to do it is um, by using algebraic notation. It's actually pretty easy um, to learn. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm rooting, I'm rooting for you. I hope um, you have a fun time and I hope you can win at least one game. So very, very exciting. Um, and it's very good, right? So if you guys are, if you guys live in the United States, I do encourage you guys to um, check out the United States um, Chess Federation. Um, if you do that, then you can play in rated um, tournaments. So that's actually very exciting right now. Okay, um, what is going on right now? Um, are we back here again? Um, yes, okay, so I'm talking about this checkmate puzzle. Okay, notice that this queen on e7, notice that the queen is attacking the pawn on e2. Also notice it is safe for the queen to take the pawn on e2 because of this rook on e8. So that's actually really, really important. Oh, wow. So you just joined the, um, last week, USCF. Okay. Um, I want to just tell you more about the USCF. And because I'm not too sure if you're aware of this or not, but since you joined the USCF, um, you do have a page, um, um, on the, you have a rating page. Let me just, let me just, um, talk to you about that. So if you go to, um, search for players and if you type in your name, then you get to your rating page. So for example, um, I'm going to go ahead and type in my page right now. So this is me. Um, mm -hmm. come on, it's running slow. Okay, so here we go. I don't know why um there are two. It's like are these two duplicates? I'm not really too sure, but okay, this is me. So once you join the USCF, um yeah, the, once you join the USCF, then you get a your own page. And the most exciting thing about this, it will give you all of the um, information about your rating and your rating history. So like, for example, if you go to general, it says like, okay, regular rating, 1868. Um, it gives you more interesting facts, like the quick rating, blitz rating. It also gives you um, some online ratings too. And then... Um, if you're in the top 100 list, then it will give you like your ranking, um, which is good. And then um, if you go over to more, this is more information. This is like just milestones, which is interesting. There's also rating supplement. So if you guys notice, I've been playing in chess tournaments since 1999. And um, my first... Um, Rating was 689. Um, so yes, I've been playing, um, yeah, I've been playing chess for a very long time. Um, the other cool thing about this is if you choose to be a tournament director, then, um, this is like the history of the um, chess tournaments that you, um, um, that you helped out. But no, I'm not a tournament director and, um, I don't really wish to. But if you go to um, tournament history, now this gets very interesting because this tournament, um, the tournament history, it will show you all the tournaments that you played in. Um, so like if you take a look right here, the last tournament that I played in was in August of um, last year in 2022. And that was actually in San Antonio, Texas. Um, that was um, last year, but before that, it was in 2021, and that was in um, New Jersey. Um, so if you go all the way back, you it's just my tournament history, so um, which is actually very interesting. So if we go all the way back here, um, my first chess tournament, it was in August of 1999. And my first provision rating was 493. Wow, that was a long, long time ago. Um, so David Pacheco says, do you remember my suggestion for a short video regarding etiquette for an in-person um, tournament play and what to expect in an, in, an over-the-board tournament? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, 
One pad in a box is I bought 20, 50 game notation books, so I am good for 1,000 games. Okay, awesome. Um, so, um, that's awesome, one pad in a box. Just remember, just play your best, have fun. Um, and after the tournament is over, um, send me your chess games um, if you're comfortable, and I will be happy to analyze um, your chess games. So, um, the other thing you have to remember about playing on chess tournaments is like also like have good sportsmanship when you're playing. Um, so oftentimes, um, what you want to do is like, um, before, um, like, like, okay, so you walk to your table or your chessboard. And then, like, before you start um, playing your chess game, make sure you shake your opponent's hand. And then um, after you, you shake your opponent's hand, then you want to say, um, good luck. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and then after you shake hands, um, then um, the game continues. And then after the game is over, then you want to shake your opponent's hand again. And then you're going to say, good game. Um, yeah, the mo and then the interesting thing about chess tournaments is c you can, you, you might be playing people of all ages. So you might, you might play some kids, you might play some adults too. Um, so it, it just depends. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it depends. Like, I, I played in a lot of chess tournaments in the past We are um, my youngest opponent was probably like maybe um seven years old, and then um, my oldest opponent was maybe ninety years old. So I mean that's a cool thing about chess. Like people of all ages play chess. Um, so I think you're gonna you're gonna have a fun time. Um, so um, yeah, just just enjoy the experience, and um, the most important thing is. Um, when you, do, if, you know, I mean, welcome to the chess tournament. So, um, the most interesting that I'm, the, the thing that I noticed is kids tend to move fast and adults tend to move slower. The most important thing is just remember to just take your time and ask questions to get information about the chess board. Um, David says, do you know, oh my gosh. Um, David says, do you know about DGT boards, which are the chess boards that we record on a big screen when plugged into a computer and laptop? Um, I don't know too much about them, but I did play in one, um, on one before. So when I played in the, um, let me see. I do have experience on playing on a D DGT board. Um, let me just sh let me just show you something right now. Um, so two years ago, I did play in the twenty twenty one um chess tournament in New Jersey, and then if we go here, a lot of people did that. Let me go find your find my name right now. Okay, so here we go. So this is me. This was in um this was um this was at Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And then um in the second round, I actually had to play against Alexander um Shovelov. Um he's a grandmaster and he's won the US chess championship a couple of times. And I just remember that when I did play him, um I remember that um, I did play in a on a DGT board, so people could see the game. Um, so that was actually very very interesting. Um, so I think I think it's cool. I think it's good, nice to um follow the um the top boards. Um, and if you get if you if you have the opportunity to play against a super strong chess player then um, consider that as a gift. I think that's really awesome because it's like, when's the next time you're going to play somebody who's super strong? Um, Wombot in a box says, 
the young ones or the scary ones, um, they had no school during COVID and they learned chess. Um, I do agree with that statement and I'm gonna, I actually have a story to tell you is, so when I was playing in this tournament, notice there, there was only one section. He didn't beat Chubb without, no, I, I lost to him. Um, and it was like, no, I, I will always remember that game. Actually, I, I made a video, a YouTube video about that. So if you check, um, if you, if you go to, um, my, if you go to my YouTube, um, chess channel, you can actually see the game against Alexander, um, Shabunov. Um, but it was actually my very first time playing against a Grandmaster in a classical game. So when I say classical, um, that means it was a slow time control. And I was actually very excited. I, I couldn't believe like I played him. Um, I had the right pieces. But again, if you want to learn, if you want to see the game, just check out the video on my YouTube chess channel. Because I do, um, I did talk about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, David says, usually the DGT boards are played by the top um, players in Noko and other big chess tournaments, like with many titled players, for example. I play on the DGT boards from time to time in my area. Okay, that's awesome. Um, my question is, what does DGT, um, what, what does that stand for? I don't know what DGT stands for. I don't know. Maybe I should find that out. Like, okay, wait, hold on. Um, what does DGT stand for in chess? Oh, okay. So DGT, it stands for a digital game technology. Okay. Um, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, it's always good to learn something new. Um, David says, you should have gone for scores me on him. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> digital game technology. Yeah. The co oh, the company. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, let me see something. If we go to... It's the one good kind. Um, we go to 2021 um, U.S. Chess Open. I think. Do we have? Is there a game? Okay, I don't know. No. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember like I did play on the D D G T board. Um, but. I don't know what happened to that page, but I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go find it right now. Um, but okay, I am getting sidetracked, but I do want to talk about the story. Do not underestimate kids in um, chess tournaments. Okay, so if you take a look right here, um, in the first round, I played against Michael Ding, and he's a kid, and his rating was. Um, Okay, if I, if you round it off, it's eleven hundred. Um, <laughs> so one pot in the boxes I need to donate to your PayPal. Um, yeah, if you want to do that, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, but I want I want to. <laughs> um, David says scholars mate is useless against strong opponents as they have too many easy ways to defend and even punish such attempts. Yeah, it's like, no, it's like, if I'm playing somebody strong, um, I'm just going to play my usual, um, my usual game, get my knights and bishops out. I like to attack, um, and that's, that's just me. So anyway, I want to just talk about the story. Um, so in the first round, I played against Michael Ding. He's a kid. He's rated 1100. I did beat him. But this is so interesting because after the tournament, look at his rating. His rating went from 1096 to 1432. So this kid, he was, he was way underrated. Um, so, yeah, so the, the, the lesson is 
just play your best if you're playing somebody who's much more rated than you no you still want to play your best it doesn't matter what the rating is um uh, michael ding um i'm actually very impressed like how he did i mean he jumped from 1096 to 1432 let's see what his rating is now oh wow so he jumped okay so he's 11 right now and he's number 54 yeah you can't like these kids they get really good very very quickly and the interesting thing is you can also look at take a look at the rating graph so michael jing he started out with a rating of um what is that is that three three two i think but um notice his this rating jump he jumped way up so um <laughs> so one bat um in a box says I donated for the game in review. Caught me at a um, bad time. I just got out of debt and have no money. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh. Okay, no worries. Um <laughs> no worries. Um yeah. When you have um when you have time, um I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could do that. It's yeah, definitely. Um okay. What was I going to say? Um, yeah, so this is like a perfect example where um, don't underestimate kids. Um, their ratings can go up really fast right now. His rate, his peak rating was eighteen, um, eighty three. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Very amazing. Okay, let's see what's going on right now. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so, um, Wombat in the Box, I got your donation, thank you very much, and, um, you say, join Twitch, you will become famous, yes, yes, that's what I would like to do, I wanna, um, um, yeah, I need to, um, again, I have to just figure out, um, the best schedule, um, so I can work, um, Twitch into my schedule. Um, if I decide to stream on Twitch, it probably means that I'm going to be, um, live streaming two times a week on YouTube and once a week on Twitch. Um, I just wish like we had, I wish I had more time, um, during the week, but I do not. Um, but... Um, yeah, I have to figure things out, but well, I'm in the box. I really appreciate the, um, suggestion. I really do. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay. David Pacheco. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, David Pacheco, you sent me a chess game <gasps> and this is seven moves long. Is this the shortest game that you ever played? That's what I would like to know. Oh, and David, I just noticed your opponent's um name is David Teal. Okay, so David, um, he lives in Texas. Okay. Um, so one bot and the boxes make just make sure that you record videos, post your Twitch um streams on YouTube. Okay. Um. Sorry. I have to um, do some experimenting with that, but I do like that idea. And um, yeah, I need to just go for that. Um, yeah, I think it's important to um, think big, go for your goal. So yeah, I'm going to definitely um, experiment with um, Twitch because um, yeah, I feel like I have very good potential. So <laughs> definitely, okay. David Pacheco, I want to analyze one of your chess games, so let's do that right now. Um, so, David, um, let's go to, let me, um, yes, okay. Let me go to um, analysis right over here, and then I'm going to go here, okay. You were back. Let's just quickly. Um, 
<laughs> one pot in the box says go for it all i watch on church's chess and you are the best oh thank you very um thank you very much for the compliment i really appreciate ada and um i just need to um experiment on twitch and i need to figure out how that's going to work because i also need to consider um my time um so i gotta yeah you gotta just because again i i do believe in a well-balanced life because it's like i i think it's really important to have a good professional life but I, I also believe that it's also important to have a good personal life too um so i need to um just take a look at my schedule so i can find a way to um get twitch into my busy schedule because like right now i have a fixed schedule it's busy um but um if if the top um twitch chess players um have twitch and youtube then that means i can too right um but okay david pacheco um i'm gonna quickly just see what happened oh my gosh um does thorin use chessable um that's a good question um i've i have checked out chessable before and i think it's i think it's interesting um i do if you guys don't use chessable i do recommend you um to um check it out i think it's great i think i think it's pretty useful um so David Pacheco says, I knew not to underestimate this unrated opponent because I obviously played um, stronger unrateds before and some of them threw me off balance and destroyed me on the chessboard in the past. Okay, let's just take a look. Oh, seven moves. Wow. Okay, well, let's just take a look. Pawn d4, d5, pawn to e4. This is not that common. But you do decide to take it. Okay, bishop goes there. Pawn goes to um e6. Okay, pawn goes here. I guess, I mean, I think like if I never um played this position and if the pawn goes to f3, then I would be thinking that he would be sacking a pawn. I think he wants to play a gambit. Um, So you go knight goes there. Okay. Pawn takes, knight takes, you go there, and then queen to h4, and then this is perfect, um, but, oh my gosh, well, yeah, so you know what, David, um, your opponent did not give you much of a fight, um, David, did you play, um, was your opponent, was it a kid or an adult, um, Vomba in the box says, when I destroy people, it's not because I am good, it's because they are bad. Okay, yeah. You have to just remember is to destroy a person, it means that you have to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes. Um, the other thing is, um, so it's kind of interesting because if you don't make a mistake and if your opponent doesn't make a mistake, then um, the game is going to be a draw. And then the other thing is, if your opponent does not make a mistake, it's actually impossible to win on position, right? So that's the interesting thing. Like, if you play the kids, um, Magnus Carson, and if you don't make a mistake, it's impossible for um, Magnus to beat you. That's the interesting thing. Um... David Pacheco, I thought, um, thanks for sharing this game. I thought this was a very, um, interesting game. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, this, this was, this was, this was an easy game. Seven moves long. I think this is, I think this is your, um, probably your quickest chess game ever. I don't, um, yeah. Oh, okay. So David Pacheco says, my opponent was another adult. I believe he played in his first rated tournament at the time of this game. Oh, wow. Um, that's exciting. Um, so, Wombat in a Box um, says, I love Magnus. Magnus and Bobby Fischer are my two favorites. Yeah, 
That's awesome. Um, I'll give you guys a fun fact about um Bobby Fischer. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but on a chess board, um, there are sixty four squares. So you know, eight times eight that's sixty four, and then um, and then um, Bobby Fischer. He was actually born. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. Bobby Fischer actually passed away when he was 64 years old. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought, I thought, I think like Bobby Fischer, I, I think he's a complete genius in chess. Um, but the, the sad thing about Bobby Fischer is like, I think he was a complete genius, um, in chess, but I think outside of chess, um, he was um he was kind of on the crazy side um yeah there's a really good movie that i recommend and it's called pawn um sacrifice um and it's about bobby fisher's life so if you guys haven't seen pawn sacrifice um i do recommend you guys to watch it yeah so um and by the way, I am a big fan of Toby McGuire. Um and Toby McGuire who plays Bobby Bobby Fisher. So um this is a really good movie if you want to learn more about um um Bobby Fisher's life. So um that's great. Okay. Um another good movie um to watch is called Searching for Bobby Fisher. And this is actually based on a true story. Actually, a lot of chess movies are actually based on true stories. Um, Pawn Sacrifice is obviously based on a true story. Searching for Bobby Fischer is um, based on a true story. Um, Searching for Bobby Fischer, it's a bit. Um, it's about um Josh Winskin, and um. Okay, um, Josh Winskin. Um, he's a um he he was a child prodigy. He's super good. And, um, so David says a lot of us might not make it to anything at the high level, like Grandmaster, but I'm one of those chess players who strive to play the perfect game and outplay my stronger opponents. Yeah, I mean, um, you have to, um, like chess, it is a very challenging game and you also have to remember that if you, if you hit master, you're in the top 1% of all chess players. So, um, I mean, I'm not a master myself. Um, I made it like 1800, 1900, so I'm in class A. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's really, really tough. Um, Wombat in the box says, Fisher wasn't that crazy. The government tried to imprison him from playing in the country with um, sanctions, etc. I would be mad too. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, it's, yeah, I just, th I, I just think that Bobby, Bobby Fisher, I just think like, um, I just think outside their chess, I think he, I think, I think it was, I think it was, uh, difficult for him, but that's okay. Um, what, yes, what David said, um, that is the movie, um, Laughing Out Loud. Yeah, so this is a, this is a really good movie, um. The other good movie um that I um recommend is called um Queen of Um Catway. And this is also based on a true story. And it's about this um girl and her name is Fiona and she grows up um in Uganda, Africa. Um and she um she lives in the slum but um she discovers chess and um chess um changes her life for the better so i think it's i think it's inspirational she's very inspirational um her name is fiona matusi i think she i mean she she is awesome um so this is actually fiona um i've actually met fiona before um so yeah, she's she's awesome. Um so I would if you guys have time, um I do suggest 
for you guys to um check out um um this movie and um the other um the other person who's awesome in the movie is um it's benjamin um oops yeah um, if you guys seen Queen of Catway, um, there's another character and his name is Benjamin and, um, I've also met Benjamin before. I've actually played him a chess game in Cupertino, um, California. He's, he's, he's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's, um, <gasps> so one bot in the boxes, that movie David mentioned says that the whole story why he went crazy. Just as you're like rich or poor, yeah, it's it, it's interesting. Um, yeah, that's um that's Queen of Catway, good movie. The other movie that um that's awesome is called Brooklyn um, Castle. This is also a good movie, and of course, this is also based on a true story, and um, it's just about a chess team. And they're based um in New York City, um so um if you go to New York City, um there's a lot of um chess players over there. Um, I I went to New York City um in 2019, um and I did check out the Marshall Chess Club. So if you guys go to um, New York, um, New York City. I do check, I definitely, um, recommend checking out the Marshall Chess Club. This club is amazing. Um, super strong chess players, um, play at this club. Um, and I just remember, like, when I, I was in, I was in New York City for vacation, and I just remember, like, I did play, um, in one tournament at the Marshall Chess Club, and, um, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was an amazing experience. So again, if you're in New York City, check it out. You will have a fun time. Um, it's easy. I, I think it's in Manhattan. So it's like, it's very easy to get to by the subway. Um, so yeah, this is a great club. The other, um, if you're in New York City, I also, um, I also recommend, um, checking out, um, um, one by in the in the boxes. New York has a chess park where you can play the locals. It is amazing. Um, should have a chess park in every town. Yeah. Um. So the other um park you want to check out in New York City is called um Bryant Park, and this is also like in uh, Manhattan area. Um, this is actually a, it's a really nice place to play chess. Like if you just want to play casual chess games. Just go to Bryant Park. Um, I just remember like um that's what I did. And I just played some casual um chess games and um that's a fun that's a fun um um park to play at. Um the other park is if you're ever in Washington DC, there's also um a play, it's called um DuPont Circle. Um, hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, welcome to my live stream. Um, if you're in Washington, D.C., um, I also suggest... You can also check out um, DuPont Circle in Washington, D.C. Um, and I also... I actually created a video um, of me playing chess at DuPont Circle in Washington, D.C. Um, so, um... Yeah, which is cool. Um, I so New York City. I saw two old guys arguing while I'm playing chess. Yeah, it's um, you have to be careful because um, you can also play chess in San Francisco, but I said um, you have to be careful um where you play because sometimes there's um people um that. Um, or they're, um, yeah, you just have to be careful about the people that you play. Um, yeah, just be careful. But, um, yeah, I think that playing park is fun. There's, yeah, in New York City, there's the Washington, um, Square Park Chess. I, okay, so yeah, so Marshall Chess Club, it's very close to Washington Square Park. 
Um, David Pacheco says, do you think that some people lack a healthy work-life balance to a point where people just work all day and are tired and just want to lay down and not do anything? Um, I do think that. Um, I just think that it's important to have a well-balanced life. Um, because I don't know, I just think that life is short, so don't waste time. Um, but yeah, it's like for me is, you know, there's only, like everybody has a limited time, um, time on planet Earth. So like for me is like, yeah, I definitely want to check, I definitely want to try to um do twitch streaming but right now i don't have time to do it so that means it's like okay i have to sacrifice something if i want twitch streaming to work um but again um it's like i have my prof i have my professional life and i also have my personal life um i don't like, I, I, I think, like, if people continue to work, 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 and if, if they don't have time to relax, I don't think that's good for their mental health. But, I mean, people need to, people need to take care of themselves. That's important. Um, yeah. Um, one pat in the boxes. I am taking my new chessboard and clock to the local BM. Um, BMX track in skateboard um, park. I want to um, play um, anyone and let them play each other. Um, I have a portable folding table and everything. Ah, I think that would be interesting. Um, if that, if that me, if you do that, please let me know how it works. There's also um, a place in Chicago um, where you can also um, play chess. It's like, I don't know where it is. I think it's near the, like, downtown Chicago. Um, oh, I forgot what it is. It's like the, let me see. I don't know if they have it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Um, if you go to downtown Chicago, um, um, sometimes they have, like, chess tables, and you can just play... Um, on those um, chess tables, and it's fun right now. Um, okay, um, let's see what's going on. Um, well, but in the boxes, I went to stream it on Twitch with my phone. That is my dream. Okay, well, well, but in the box, um, if you, if you make it happen, please let me know, because I would like to watch it. Um, David says, I heard many times before that there's no guarantees for tomorrow. That's for short. Just, like, make the most out of each day. Um, Mr. Lee says, where do you recommend playing casually in the Bay Area? Okay, that's a good question. Um, my suggestion is to check out Santana Row. Okay, actually... Um, hold on for a second. I need to, um, yeah, it's called Santana Row. Santana Row is a shopping mall, um, in San Jose. And this is, this is the San Francisco Bay Area. And, um, they have a giant, um, chess, um, um, board. They also have, like, small chess boards. Um, in San Antonio, so I do recommend um, going here to play um, um, casual chess if you want. And there's actually, there's actually a meetup. Hold on for a second. I need to find the information about it because I want to I wanna share it with you guys. Um, hold on. Let me go to... I'm trying to find this information. Hold on. Um, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, please be patient, everyone. I'm trying to find the information about the chess meetup where they meet at Santana Row. So just hold on for a second. Um, hmm. 
Okay, let me see. Let me go to um, chess me up. Um, Mr. Lee says I should bring my own chess set, right? Yes, you should. That would be a very good idea. Um, I'm try I'm still trying to find the information about it. I believe that they meet on Sunday mornings. That's what I believe, but right now, um, I don't know if I can find it. Um, hold on for a second. Oh gosh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, San Jose. Oops, no, that didn't work. Um... I just know that if you go to meetup.com and if you type in Santana route or San Jose, um, then I'm pretty sure you can find the group that way. And I believe, because I, I did talk to someone um, um, who went to um, that meet, chess meetup group on Santana route and she said that most of the adults play in it, but she said like from time to time kids also play too. Like, a long time ago, I played um at Santana Row, and I think it's fun. I think it's fun to just drag or, like, pick up the carry, pick up the giant chess pieces. Um, it's fun. It's, I think it's, it's fun right now. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it's great. Um, okay, let's see. So Santana Row, Santana Row is, yes, in San Jose. The other place to play um casually is if you guys if you guys are free um on Thursday nights I do definitely check um definitely check out the um Menlo Park um chess club. Um this is um I this is my local chess club. This is also in the San Francisco Bay Area. And this is a new club. They have um tournaments. Um, the giant chess pieces are cool. Yeah, they are. Um, super cool. I like it. Um, it's fun. It's, yeah, it is fun. Um, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, I definitely check, definitely check out the Mino Park Chess Club. Um, they meet on Thursday evenings. I know the person who runs this club. Um, his name is Mark Drewy. And, um, from time to time... Um, they have like casual chess. Um, and I just remember that I think about a month ago, I did go to this chess club just to, um, play some casual chess and it was, it was fun. And, um, it was actually, it was very interesting because I just remember that I, I, I bumped into my chess acquaintance and the, la the last time I saw my chess acquaintance, it was 20 years ago. Um, so, Wombat in the Boxes, I am near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mr. Lee says, awesome, I'll try to go. Okay, Pencil, um, not too far from me. Okay, that's good to know. The, um, so, Mr. Lee, the other um, club you may want to check out is called the um, Koti um, Chess Club. And this is also in the South Bay. And I think they're, they, they're located in Campbell. So, that's great. Okay. I guess that, um, yeah, so, um, okay, so I need, like, a couple more minutes, yeah, um, okay, and let's see what's going on, um, the Thursday meetup, is it a casual chess gathering, a class, okay, so the Men in the Park, um, chess club, um, hold on for a second, oh, wait, come on, um, it's they 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 have um online no I'm sorry they have in person chess tournaments, so I think that the most recent one they had it was a Swiss tournament, and it seems like it was a good turnout so that was great. If but sometimes they just have like casual chess, so it um yeah they have Swiss they have 
outfits, tournaments. Um, I remember, like, when I went there, um, I just remember, like, I played casual um, chess, which is good. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, as a friendly... Um, Okay, so David says I agree when you said to be careful um, when you play um, chess with someone. There are some people who have started fights uh, over chess games and those people um, who do not, um, who do that ruin the experience for anyone else. Yeah, you have to be careful with some people because some, pe like, some people are mean. Um, my last name is a good, my, my last name is good kind, so I tell people I'm a good and kind person, and I want other people to be good, good and kind too, so, um, okay, you guys, um, I need to, um, get going, it turns out that I have a super long day tomorrow, um, I have to wake up, um, I have to leave my, um, face at, like, 6 a.m., I am really busy tomorrow, um, and I need, um, my sleep, so just to let you guys know, um, the next time I'm going to live stream is going to be on Wednesday, um, um, at 8 p.m., so just to let you guys know, I do help out another chess tournament, and, um, Mr. Lee says, uh, date, uh, they meet on every Thursday, yeah, they, 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 they meet every Thursday, and, um, just to let you know, um, every Wednesday, I do host an online, um, um, hmm, yeah, um, okay, <laughs> um, David says, by the way, it was nice watching your live stream and playing with you. Um, see you later. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Just to let you guys know, um, every Wednesday, I do host a Fitz tournament in um, the Daily Chess Musings Chess Club. I do not um, own this club. I do help out um, another chess um, teacher in California. And um, I haven't created the tournament yet, but if you're free at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I do encourage you to play in my weekly chess tournament. It's a blitz tournament. It's five minutes, and it's a two-round tournament. So I do encourage you guys um, to check it out and um, play in it. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, wait. Do I have a date tomorrow? No, I don't have a date tomorrow, but I have... Um, I have a long day tomorrow, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I have something going on tomorrow, and, um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> um, um, well, but in the box says I should be, I will join, yeah, so just to remember, it is at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so since you're in Philadelphia, um, that means that the tournament is going to start um, at 10.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. Yeah, so. Um, okay, Mr. Lee says, um, all right, have a good night. And again, um, I'm just going to take it. Let me just tell you guys my um, live streaming schedule right now. I, as I told you before, I do live stream three times a week. And it is Monday nights around 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Um, um, Pacific Standard Time, and then Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if it's the last um, week um, of the month, then I live stream um, four times a week because I do live stream um, my monthly um, online chess tournament. So... Um, uh, yep, okay, so one bot in the box says 10.30, I will be working. Wow, you work late. Okay, you're working at 10.30 p.m.? Well, you must, you must have an interesting job. Um, you are three hours behind, no, actually, no, you're three hours ahead of us. Because if you take, if you take a look at this, um, if you take a look at the, um, USA, USA, um, time zones, um, if you, if you take a look right here, so Philadelphia, you guys are three hours ahead of us, cause I'm I'm in California, cause you're you're in Eastern and um California, we're in Western. Yeah. 
So, um, okay, you guys, um, I'm going to say um, thank you so much for watching my live stream. Um, I really appreciate it, you guys. You guys are awesome. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can make it to my, um, oh, wow, Jaguar Land Rover. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, so you guys, um, ch um, ch hopefully you guys can make it to my next live stream on Wednesday. Um, and I hope you guys have a great night or I don't know where you guys, I might say good morning or whatever, like have a good day or take care, right? Um, so, okay, you guys, um, take care. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. <laughs> okay.